Hey, I've been thinking about our last conversation and I have to disagree, okay? First, I'm uncomfortable calling myself a neuro-minority for a few reasons, and second, I like calling myself neurodivergent, but I think we might be able to fix your issues with it. That'd be cool. What makes you uncomfortable about neuro-minority? I'm a white dude, at least anatomically, and well, I certainly experienced discrimination because of my... Neurological uniqueness? Yeah, but nothing like people of color, and I know that neurological uniqueness is technically a minority group, but there's cultural associations with the word minority that I, I don't want to... You don't want to misconstrue intent, like come across that you're trying to minimize... Or, or compete, or... Or take focus away from that fight for equity and justice. Yeah, and like, I don't think it would be bad or wrong or harmful for anyone else to use neuro-minority if it clicks for them, but... You're not comfortable with it, and that's okay. So, what were your thoughts on neurodivergent? Well, it's already widely used, but like you pointed out, there's problems with how it's defined. That neurotypical basically asserts that there's one neurology that is healthy and natural, and another that has diverged away from that. Yeah, that's definitely problematic, but what if we redefined them, using some of the same arguments to how you defined neuro-minorities as the neuro-marginalized? Ooh, okay, what do you got? So what if we defined neurotypical as when someone's neurology allows them to naturally participate in societal expectations? Okay, and? And neurodivergent is someone whose neurology causes how they interact with the world to diverge from accepted societal expectations. Yeah, I am down with that. Now we just have to update the definitions on places like Wikipedia and integrate this new definition into the neurodiversity movement.